Oh, welcome back to Totally Original Let's Play. Oh, God. Oh, I got a mouthful of pretzel. Let's oh, fucking get it. I oh, also got a mouthful of cum. Huh? <laughs> oh. Who did yeah. it? You will find out next episode. <laughs> well, you know, we do this thing where um, we take pretzels and then uh, we jizz on them, right? We coat them in cum. And then uh, after that, whoa, boy. After that, uh, we we cook them. <laughs> Uh, and make... Where are you going with this? And I'm just saying, you know, like, have you ever had, like, white chocolate-covered yeah, pretzels? Yeah, It's like that, but instead of white chocolate, it's jizz. Oh, my God, that right. sounds delicious. Nick. Good idea, right? Now, right? Yeah, dude, let's mm -hmm. fucking... Let's, uh... uh how, do you get let's it so, how do you get it so pearly? Selling them. Uh, and, like, perfect and creamy. You put... A, you, you get, like... You a, put, dude, you put a little bit of sugar in it, right? And then you <laughs> Oh, use, God, I and, just thought of something. And then, and then you use the jizz as, like... You know how... Oh, God! Oh! You know how you make, uh, uh, like, uh, really thin, watery icing, you know? Yeah, yes. Like, with the powdered sugar and water? Or, or like, the Instead icing, of like water, the it's jizz. Oh, God. Right? Get you know, it so, like, you know you know powdered sugar of? In. Now, that, now that we're talking... And then no one will be able to tell. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that isn't that the point? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. They're supposed to be like, oh, I, that that's I guess that's a good question. Are they supposed to be excited about the jizz pretzels, or are we, uh, no, are we it's, tricking it's people? Secret excitement. Okay, because because you don't know what it is, you're like, oh, chocolate pretzels, and then you eat it and you find out what it is, and you're like, ooh, even more excited. Exactly. But anyways, I was saying because we're, we're talking about dicks now. Yeah. Um. Okay, so you've heard the whole like idea that like if you eat lots of pineapple. It will uh, make your cum taste yeah. better. Apparently, yeah, that's it, what I've heard. It right? doesn't. I've tried it. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I actually kind of believed you that for I was like, yes, yes, Nick, is there something you're not telling me? <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, but, no, um, dude. No, I, that made me think, like, what I if ate you a could, bunch of pineapple you, and then I jizzed be... into my hand and ate it. <laughs> <laughs> I ate a bunch of pineapple and just straight up into the air and caught it with my hand. <laughs> oh, dude. Mouth. That's fucking, that, that's got to be that's, like that's some kind of, uh, yeah. No, I was, I was going to say, um, this might be possible, but I wonder if it's possible to eat items that will change the consistency and texture. So oh, like, what so if, it's, what, like, a, what it's if, like crunchy? Uh, we're getting really gross here, but like, what if you can get like a sludgy, sort of like... Sludgy. Like, uh, like, like, like a uh, it's jelly fruit. Way thicker, we're going to just cut know? all this out, by the way. No way, dude. <laughs> this is fucking great. This is quality this is conversation. Wonderful. Uh, you want to talk about what we were talking about before recording this episode? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I need to... Get, let's get off the topic of dicks. Let's get off the proverbial dick, <laughs> yeah. so to speak. Um, uh, I do need to check. I figured something out, boys. Uh, when Because I, I went back through. Huh, check this shit out. Ooh, except for Metalhead. I didn't do that one. But Metalhead. I went back and uh, re-got all the things. So now we're at 71%. We've got all the eggs now. Mm. And uh, we only have uh, technically two more worlds to go. But the last world is really just, I think, three In levels, the entire game? So, yeah. What? Um, <laughs> okay, so I need to go. This is actually how I think you're supposed to do it because this is how I did it when uh, uh, that one that I was having like a really hard time with, um, the last one that we did. I I tried it like six or seven times and was like, "Fuck, I don't understand what's going on." And then it dawned on me, maybe I should do it in the order that it lists. Perfect. The first time I tried that, so we're gonna try that now. Boats, arches, planes, chests. Okay. Okay. Even All though right. you know, I like to go after the chests first. Yeah, and I like I'm a, the, I'm I like the good arch. Man. I like the good arch. You know yeah. what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Um, but so what we were talking about? Okay, so we were talking about uh. Uh, GameStop stuff. Um, mm -hmm. in specifically in regards to um, Steven asked me. He said, "Well, you've got a lot of PS3 games," and I was like, "Yeah, I used to have like, uh, I think what we counted like somewhere around 250 or something." Yeah. Um, I used to have uh, uh, 200 PS2 games, but I traded a boatload of them in, um, and I did that because uh, I needed space. And, like, I had too many games, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. a lot of them were overlap, like, uh, oh, Resident Evil 5, Re Resident Evil 6. Well, I have those on PS4, so why do I really need them on PS3? Exactly. You know? And we were talking about um, how fuck. some games are just, like, so shitty, and, like, no one is ever going to want that. And, like, what happens if you try to trade those games into GameStop? Yeah, and so what I told him is that they, they don't take them in, because they're basically yeah. worthless. And, uh... The example that I use, um, which I think is just a perfect example, uh, this is botched, man, this is so botched, uh, is that uh, uh, my store, uh, just my single store, at one point in time had, let me remember that, boats, arches, planes, chests, um, had uh, 150 copies of Connect Adventures. And that's a lot of damage, you know, for That's like, a lot of damage. Yeah, for Holy one shit. fucking store, you know, like that's ridiculous. And um 
there's no way that we're ever, ever, ever in a million know. years going to sell that many know. copies. Connect of might get a little boom. In fact, we literally just started um, giving them to people who were bu- anybody who bought a 360 Connect just got a copy of Connect Adventures. Except for here's the problem. Nobody wanted 360 <laughs> Connects. <laughs> and so, are you then, kidding me, Nick? It's better with Connect. Didn't you know exactly. that? Exactly. And so then it's like we we I mean at one point we also had like almost 40 Connects or something oh, like Jesus that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um but They're and all so worthless. Yeah, it's like so shitty. what do you do with all this shit, right? Um well, here's the deal. I'm sure the company as a whole probably had like way more they probably had a bajillion copies of connect adventures mm-hmm. just as a whole between all of its stores, you should combine right? them all together and make um, like a tower well and so and so my my thing is like what are they gonna do with all those fucking copies of connect adventures well what we used to do was called field destroy we would take um all the the things that we didn't want anymore mm-hmm. oh, oh pop my neck um <laughs> And uh, 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 and we would uh, uh, then we would get rid of them by breaking them and stuff. And uh, uh, we used to take all the discs that were in Field Destroy, and we would uh, fuck me. Um, and we would uh, uh, like scratch them up and shit, like with knives on like the the we had like box cutters. Why would you just the, break uh, them? The face side. Uh, because have you ever tried to break a disc in half? Yes. Um, it is real dangerous. Like you can cut yourself on it real easy because sometimes they. You can like, also cut yourself with a knife. Not if you're <laughs> not a fucking dumb idiot. Not if you're a trained <laughs> GameStop professional. Um, sometimes also, uh, they don't break; they just bend, and then it's like. But well, it's then, still useless then. No, yeah. but like that wasn't near as cool, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, that, that's what the GameStop CEO said. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So wouldn't it be smarter to just bend them until they're unusable? That's dude, fucking lame, dude. Let's... That's, yeah, dude, that's <laughs> near as fuck. Really? You're cool. fine. You know what? You're fine. Get, uh, you're, you're, that's lame. No. But, so, so, um, everyone, then people started making those dumpster diving videos, and everyone was, like, freaking out, you know? They're like, oh, my God, how come they're not donating all this stuff to hospitals and children's and stuff like that? I don't I don't think I actually stopped and realized how um, close those videos actually are. Right. you're digging through a fucking dumpster. Right. Well, the, the thing that bothers me about it is that, is twofold. Number one, first of all, let's let's be real here, all right? How much money do you think it would fucking cost them to ship all of this shit to hospitals? Like all of this literal fucking garbage. Like Connect Adventures, fucking garbage. <laughs> um, Dude, a and, cancer patient kid's gonna be like, "What the fuck, kid? Fucking Connect <laughs> yeah, Adventures, right? I want to play um, fucking Call of Duty." And so, how? You know, how much money do you think it's going to take? And they're like, oh, well, but they can write it off as, as, you know, it's charity. And it's like, they already donate so much money to charity, there's no way that they're going to get an extra tax write-off for donating a bunch of stuff to hospitals, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and and when they've got, you know, as many copies of fucking Connect-Ass Adventures as they do. Connect-Ass. Um, yeah, Connect-Ass Adventures. Uh... <laughs> They they could give five copies to every goddamn hospital in the entire world, and they'd still probably have a thousand copies left mm-hmm. over just hanging out. What are they gonna do with that? Start handing them out to homeless people on the street? Hey, I know that you need food and shit, but here's a copy of Connect Adventures, right? How, Let, how like, terrible it this way. Do would that you... person feel if you just found a homeless person on the street? He's like, sir, can I have some food and money, please? And you're like, here you go. <laughs> you, know, you, get, you know what? Here, have five. Give him a bunch of, like five, yeah, five right? brown bags. He's like, thank you, thank and you it's for your kindness. Just and like it's just like two hundred thirty copies of <laughs> <I'm> connected. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, um, he but, doesn't donate them to a hospital. But think of it this way: Do you own a copy of Connect Adventures? And if no. you do, uh, do you ever play it? Because if you don't, then it's probably fucking worthless and then let me ask you a second question all right let's assume that you do play connect adventures for some fucking reason all right do you want twenty thousand copies of it because we've got it you know like that <laughs> call on in at this number totally original let's play.com we'll ship you literally three thousand copies <laughs> yeah and it's like my my issue comes from the fact of like you know you don't want all those copies of Connect Adventures, so who says that anyone else w- fucking wants all those copies of Connect Adventures? Uh, but my second thing that's so disturbing about those videos is that is the way that they handle accessories, is what we call them. So mm-hmm. controllers and shit, right? They'll find a controller, and then they'll go, "Oh, look at this perfectly good controller, perfectly, perfectly good, right?" Just yeah. because they don't see anything wrong with it on the <laughs> outside, right? 
Um, and then the people who, who, uh, uh, don't just evaluate it at the dumpster, they like take it all home and they evaluate mm -hmm. it. How many of those people, when they say that this stuff works, never show you that it works? Oh yeah. They just say it works, right? Yeah. They're just, they're, um, just, they're just like, Hey guys, welcome to, to Buttfucker69. Uh, I'm, I'm here at the, at the GameStop dumpster. Let's see what we got. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do it, man. Do fuck. it. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, God. It's Fucking the garbage. Controller. Oh. <laughs> oh, this controller is fully edible. I can't, <laughs> right? I can't believe they throw it. Oh, I gotta throw this oh away. God. Oh, my God. Do you see this fucking amiibo? It's got cum crusted oh. all over it. <laughs> they, they wouldn't throw that away. No, yeah. I can cross this. Um, but the, the problem is that controllers break all the time for all kinds of things right sometimes we'll you you take a controller and trade and we didn't used to test control well i, I should stop saying we because i've been with the company for over a year now but um they used to you. uh when i was there they never tested we never tested controllers now they do test controllers uh and stuff like that they got a fancy machine there because there's so much uh shrink from taking in controllers that you think are good but they aren't actually good. And then, and it's because something, you know, electronically went wrong with them. And so, um, what they would do is they would have you field destroy it. Cut, and, and when people started dumpster diving, we, uh, or they started, um, like, you know, that's when they started breaking the discs and that's when they started, um, cutting cords and stuff like that to try to get people to stop diving in their dumpsters because they don't want people to get hurt or get tetanus oh, yeah. or get gonorrhea from the the hobo that lives inside the dumpster um or whatever you know <laughs> that and, was him that was the video he had a youtube channel <laughs> yeah oh, um, another and, fucking control oh. and, and so um the 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 issue here is that uh uh they have no idea right like they just say oh it's perfectly good but it's not perfectly good i never once uh, got or put a controller in field destroy that we knew worked like 100%. We would always rather sell it than destroy it. Right. And so what we would do is we would sell it assuming that it worked. And then when that person would come back and go, yo, bitch, this didn't fucking work. Then we would go, all right. And you know, if the controller really did look good, we would sometimes test it on like one of the systems that we'd have and see like if it actually did work or not. And if it didn't, rather than wasting our time and money fucking trying to fix the controllers, because I'm sure they'd get, you know, the, the warehouse gets thousands of them, thousands of them every day. Yeah. Um, instead, what they would do is they would, we would just put them in field destroy. And so, um, the, the, this fucking, these people that are lying to you that are like, oh, this shit works. Maybe they, that the GameStop that they're at is just a shitty fucking GameStop with a bunch of goddamn assholes who do just like, hey man, this perfectly good game works. We know we tested it, but ha, fuck it. We like throwing money away. <laughs> like, you know, maybe that's the case, but at, at least at my store and all the stores that I've ever worked at, which, you know, I probably worked at, um, I don't know, 10, 15 different stores. Um, Damn. They, uh, uh, none of them would do that. And so I just feel like, um, yeah, to a certain extent that uh, we shouldn't be throwing shit away, but like, I've got two copies of Borderlands 2 for PS3. They don't take those in anymore dude, I'll because take it. they, you can have it, dude. <laughs> um, because they fucking, they, that game sold so well, sold millions and millions of copies that the, it has no value, right? Because no one is buying Borderlands on the PS3 anymore. Go to your local GameStop and just see how much a copy of uh, Destiny is. Like the original base game. Yeah, just regular base game pre-owned for uh, uh, like PS4. Like $2. You know? I bought that shit yeah. fucking full price and I'm kind of Yeah, so did now. I. You know? And so it's like, it, that's why, right? The reason it's that price is because nobody fucking wants it. And so when they've got, when one store has 60 copies of it, it's just taking up space, man. And guess what? They're not going to fucking donate that shit to hospitals. Little kids don't want to play Destiny. Who wants to play Destiny? <laughs> like, <I'm> not, <laughs> you can't even get homeless cancer children to play Destiny. Yeah. Uh, um, Come on, Bungie. Step it up. So, uh, uh, l let us know down in the comments below. Um, 
what uh, uh what your local GameStop charges for uh, their copy of, of Destiny for PS4 pre-owned. Um, and uh, next time on Totally Original Let's Play, uh, we're gonna continue doing this crazy Dreamweavers world. Oh boy! Click on the left to watch the next video in this series once it's uploaded. Click on the right to watch another game that we played if you like this. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so that you get notified when we upload new videos. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.